Well, and you know, a so. lot of people may be, you know, pretty excited and want to travel, heading to some of so these true. games. And we're, you know, really all over the country, all over, all the way over to Washington State for, uh, for College of Charleston, they'll be playing out there. It's a long um, way to go. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Uh, but if you're going to Pittsburgh, staying on the East Coast, of course, Thursday is when they'll be tipping off South Carolina, taking on Oregon. Now, temperatures are going to be cold, 43 and sunshine. And traveling back on Friday, there could be some snow and rain uh, to contend with for you. Now, we're also looking at the forecast for Clemson versus New Mexico. Uh, and, of course, this one in Memphis. And as we take a look at that bracket forecast here, the winter ends up being mild with showers. Uh, we're looking at temperatures in the 60s, but it's only about a 20 or 30 percent chance for rain. But on your travels there, you could run into a little rain. Uh, and then Friday, locally, we've got that chance for some rain. But we'll get to that in a second. Our bigger story, our first alert weather day is for tonight. 20s and low 30s across much of the upstate, a freeze warning in effect. Now, I do want to mention this too. Not only are we looking at our plants at risk, but we're just going to be downright cold as we walk out tomorrow uh, because the wind is going to be up. It's going to feel like the low 20s when you factor in that wind, feeling like 10 in Asheville first thing. This is 7 a.m. But as we go through the day, the winds will settle. The sun is going to be in full force, so we'll get into the 50s and 40s out there for how it feels outside uh, and then that wind finally settling down into Wednesday. Our next big thing is going to be a good chance of rain in our future. It's going to be all with an area of low pressure that moves off the coast. Uh, the better uh, forecast or the higher likelihood for rain is going to mainly be along the Carolina coast. But if the weekend your weekend plans take you there or maybe you're watching and you're already along the coast enjoying spring break with the family, uh, there's going to be a pretty good chance for rain for your weekend plans. Uh, for us, we're looking at on Friday about a half inch of rain to quarter inch. The farther south you live, the better your chance of rain with this system. It's all a low pressure. It's going to be moving to our south. That's why the, the Carolina coast is going to stand a much better chance of rain uh, than we will locally. But this certainly could get in the way of your plans during the day on Friday. So let's break it all down. I just, the irony just, you know. It's the first day of spring. We're going to start with a freeze. <laughs> but, you know, it's going to be a beautiful day at least. We'll have sunshine. It will be a touch breezy. Highs in the upper 50s. But then we get to 70 on Wednesday, close to it on Thursday. Friday's the day that we're going to bring back those rain chances. And we're still going to be monitoring this for potential first alert weather day, mainly because we're going to be seeing such a difference in our weather from Wednesday, Thursday into Friday with those falling temperatures and rain chances picking up. So we'll keep you posted on that. Certainly, in a uh, higher impact day. When we go into Saturday, Sunday, uh, we'll have sunshine and cooler temperatures in the 60s and 50s compared to that 70 on Wednesday. Overnight lows stay chilly in the 30s and 40s, but tonight should be our only freezing night. A first alert for freeze in the mountains, even though your growing season hasn't begun yet, but it's still going to be downright cold tomorrow morning, much colder than normal for this time of year. And of course, it would be the first day of spring. But those